Good evening. You're watching the news from the South London Tofu Man Television. First, the headlines. Assigned by His Majesty Sultan Qaboos, His Excellency the Chairman of the State Council leads the Sultanate delegation to the 4th Arab-African Summit in Guinea. The celebrations of the 46th Glorious National Day continue around the Sultanate. The Sultanate embassies around the world continue the celebrations of the 46th Glorious National Day. And the Sultanate obtains three gold caps in the Gulf Camel Cup competition in Abu Dhabi. Good evening once again. Those were the headlines. And now, live from the news center of the Sultanate of Oman Television, here we present to you the details. His Majesty Sultan Qaboos has sent a couple of greetings to His Excellency President Desire Delano Botriz of the Republic of Suriname on his country's independence anniversary. Assigned by His Majesty Sultan Qaboos, His Excellency Dr. Yahya bin Mahfoud al Mandari, Chairman of the State Council, led the Sultanate's delegation to the 4th Arab African Summit under the theme Together for Sustainable Development and Economic Cooperation. Along with the Sultanate, 65 Arab and African countries took part in the summit, which was concluded in Guinea. It discussed a number of topics related to cooperation aspects in various fields, as well as decisions related to the achievements of regional integration and increasing the volume of trade and investment between Africa and the Arab world. On the sideline of the summit, His Excellency President of Equatorial Guinea held a session of talks with His Excellency the Chairman of the State Council and Head of the Sultanate's delegation. The exchange cordial talks and the Chairman of the State Council conveyed best wishes of His Majesty the Sultan to the President and further progress to the people of Guinea. On his part, His Excellency the President also requested the Chairman of the State Council to convey his best wishes of great health and happiness to His Majesty and the Omani people for the progress and prosperity. The convening of this summit came amid various factors that affected the economic movement due to oil price decline, the need to find new renewable energy resources and joint food security. The works of the summit concluded by issuing the Malabo communique, which urged on the continuous joint efforts to achieve the aspirations of the Arab and African nations, as well as enhancing the relations and overcoming challenges and obstacles in addition to serve the interest of of both nations. The celebrations of the 46th Glorious National Day continue around the Sultanate. On this occasion, Walis of Ibri, Yonkal and Dhang hosted reception ceremonies where the citizens held the accomplishments carried out in each part of this dear country, renewing the allegiance and gratitude to His Majesty the Sultan. The attendees also exchanged congratulations on this delightful occasion, praying to Almighty Allah to bless His Majesty with great health and happiness. In the Governorate of the Fire, a national operator was organized to, this, to celebrate the 46th Glorious National Day. It included 15 artistic performances by the Omani Singing Arts. The event included traditional arts performances that embodied the meanings of allegiance and loyalty to the beloved leader and the country. The event witnessed a huge participation from members of the society and government officials. During the celebration, the participants expressed sincere greetings and best wishes on on this glorious occasion, asking Almighty to return such happy occasions on His Majesty with health and to Oman and its nation with permanent welfare. The ceremony was presided over by His Excellency Sayyid Mohammed bin Sultan Al Busaidi, Minister of State and Governor of the Far.
Rejoicing the 46th uh, Glorious National Day, the citizens in the Wilaya of Masira in the Governorate of South Sharqiyya organized their festival of Al Arda Run, which witnessed a wide participation from members of the community and Kamil owners. The Omani Women Association also participated in the event with uh, a tent for a number of handicrafts and other products. The celebration was accompanied uh, by various activities, including poetic sessions and some traditional dances performed by the youth. The ceremony was presided over by His Excellency Sheikh Talal bin Saif Al Hosni, Wali of Masira. Still to come in our news bulletin. The Department of Heritage and Culture, together with the Photographic Society of Oman, held a photography exhibition in the Governorate of Musandam. Rejoicing the 46th National Day, the Southerners' embassies in Saudi Arabia, Sudan, Egypt, Morocco, Algeria, France and Korea held reception ceremonies on this occasion. The ceremonies included various activities portraying the Southerners' civilization and historical heritage and the achievements accomplished under His Majesty's leadership. More details in the following report by Suleiman al buhri the Sultanate's embassy in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia hosted a reception ceremony in Riyadh on the occasion of the 46th Glorious National Day, which was attended by His Royal Highness Prince Faisal bin Bandar bin Abdul Aziz, Emir of Riyadh region. Among many officials, heads of the Arab and foreign diplomatic missions and journalists. The welcoming party was led by His Excellency Dr. Ahmed bin Hilal Al Busaidi. Sultanate's ambassador to Saudi Arabia. During the ceremony, the attendees also exchanged greetings on this delightful occasion and expressed their feelings of further progress and prosperity to the Omani people. They also hailed the accomplishments carried out in each part of this dear country in various fields. The Sultanate's embassy in Sudan also held a reception ceremony on this glorious occasion. On behalf of the Sudanese President, the Minister of Investment Dr. Mudathir Abdul Ghani attended the celebration along with a wide participation from diplomats, military personnel as well as other members of the Sudanese and Omani communities. During the ceremony, His Excellency Dr. Suleiman bin Saud Al Jabri, Sultanate's ambassador to Sudan, presented a speech stressing on the good relations of the Sultanate and Sudan, as well as focusing on the achievements of the Sultanate on various fields. In Egypt, the Sultanate's embassy also held a reception ceremony on the occasion of the 46th Glorious National Day, which was attended by ministers, officials, heads of the Arab and foreign diplomatic missions accredited to Egypt. During the ceremony, His Excellency Dr. Ali bin Ahmed Al Isai, Sultanate's ambassador to Egypt, its permanent representative to the Arab League, welcomed the guests. It included a documentary on the Sultanate celebrations of the National Day and Omani Books Fair that narrates the story of Renaissance since His Majesty Sultan Qaboos took reins of power in the country during the previous 46 years. Meanwhile, the Sultanate's embassy in Morocco hosted a reception ceremony where His Excellency Abdullah bin Ubaid al Hinai, Sultanate's ambassador to Morocco, received the guests to celebrate the 46th Glorious National Day. It was attended by a number of ministers, military and civil officials, media men and other personalities in Morocco. 
The ceremony included various activities to stress on deep-rooted relations between the two countries. His Excellency the Sultanate's Ambassador to Algeria hosted a reception ceremony to mark the 46th Glorious National Day. It was attended by a number of senior officials and personalities, in addition to representatives from the government in Algeria and members of the diplomatic corps. Activities of this ceremony included an exhibition for Omani portraits and photos. A wide number of government officials from France as well as members of the French community, media people, businessmen and journalists gathered in a reception ceremony held by the Sultanate's embassy in Paris to celebrate the 46th Glorious National Day. It came to stress on the good relations of the Sultanate and France as well as focusing on the achievements of the Sultanate on various fields. Finally, the reception ceremony held by the Sultanate's embassy in Korea was led by His Excellency Mohammed bin Salim Al Harithi, Sultanate's ambassador to Korea. It witnessed a huge participation from a number of officials and government representatives as well as members of the parliament. During the ceremony, the participants expressed their sincere greetings and best wishes to the Omani people. The ceremony also witnessed an exhibition of Omani photographs and some traditional items. Those were a celebration around the world. And now the Sultanate obtained three gold cups in the Gulf Camel Cup uh, competitions, which took uh, place at uh, Lwathba Camel Race Track in Abu Dhabi in the United Arab Emirates. The fifth round, uh, which was allocated for the citizens of Gulf Corporation Council countries, Al Bakra Al Flaj, for its owner, Ali bin Salim Al Baham Al Wahabi, won in the Sin Al Thinaya category in a record time. The Sultanate also won uh, Al Zamul Cup in the eighth round for its owner, Saeed bin Mohammed Al Wahabi, while Al Bakra for its owner, Hamid bin Ishtayit al Wahabi won the cup in the ninth round, which was for al Hajjaj category. In the Governorate of Dakhiliya, Nursing Institute held a graduation ceremony in Nizua Cultural Center for the 16th batch of nurses who will join work at hospitals and health centers in the Governorate of Dakhiliya. The graduates will strengthen the health sector with new skills and experiences. They as well will support the manpower in the field of general nursing in various health institutions and hospitals in the Governorate. The graduates took a nursing oath and received their graduation certificates. The graduation ceremony included graduates speeches who expressed their happiness for graduation after hard work and efforts they exerted during the years of study. Within the annual plans of the Department of Heritage and Culture in the Governorate of Musandam and with the Association of the Photographic Society of Oman, a photographic exhibition was held in the Governorate of Musandam to acquaint the group of photographers with the new techniques of the art of photography in order to acquire further experiences. Admired by the visitors, the 30 photographers uh, presented 42 different photographs uh, which narrate stories and describe tales about their unique time and place. And now for the general weather forecast around the Sultanate. Clear skies will prevail over the most of the Governorates with the chances of low clouds and fog early morning and late at night. And the Governorate of Al Wusta, South and North Sharqiya. Winds will be easterly to south easterly light uh, to moderate. Seas will be slight with maximum wave height of 1.25 meters. This is the Sultanate of Oman television. And before we end tonight's bulletin, here are the main points once again. Assigned by His Majesty Sultan Qaboos, His Excellency, the Chairman of the State Council leads the Sultanate delegation to the 4th Arab-African Summit in Guinea. The celebrations of the 46th Glorious National Day continue around the Sultanate. The Sultanate's embassies around the world continue the celebrations of the 46th Glorious National Day.
and the Sultan had obtained three gold caps in the Gulf Camel Cup competitions in Abu Dhabi. With that, we come to an end of tonight's news bulletin. From all of us here in the newsroom and studios, it's good night.